Sometimes you got to be a dick. Sometimes you got to get out of your comfort zone. Sometimes you just have to be blunt in order to get your point across. And this reminds me of a scene from Tommy Boy where he talks about never taking no for an answer. Now, if you haven't seen Tommy Boy, it's a great movie. It's a great sales movie. It's funny. Chris Farley is fat. And I'm going to share with you how I handle objections, what I do when a customer says no, some questions I ask. And also, I'm going to share with you a recent text exchange with someone who told me no. And Quote IQ is giving away a Ford F-150 in less than a week to a premium platinum or ultimate subscriber. So if you want a chance to win, go download the Quote IQ app in the Google Play Store, the App Store, or you can get it at myquoteiq.com. So essentially for $29, you get a chance to drive away in this Ford F-150. Also check out the giveaway multiplier. We're giving you guys a bunch of different ways to increase your chances of winning the truck. All the links are in the first comment. And if you stick around until the very end of this video, I'm going to tell you how you can get a hundred extra entries and a chance to get on a live call with Justin and myself. But the point of this video is dealing with customer objections and how sometimes just asking a simple question can get you the job even after the customer has determined that they are going with somebody else. So we had a quote come in through our website using Instaquote. The customer went online, they selected house wash, filled in all the information and Instaquote gave them the price. I've got automated email and text sequences set up so they receive an email and a text message after the estimate is generated. They also have the opportunity to schedule their appointment themselves based on our calendar availability, but this guy didn't do that. So like I said, he got online, the uh, estimate was generated for his townhouse. Now this was a center unit, so only the front and the backside needed to be cleaned. He responded back to the text saying that he needed a quote. Well, I know he already got the quote because I had all of his information and he responded to the text message, but sometimes customers do this and I don't really know why, if it's just a natural reaction or maybe he called a couple companies or he's just looking for a better price. Who knows? But I told him what the price was and his response, as you can see, was, oh, okay, I'm going to go with the other company, but thank you. So clearly he did not like my price or somebody else gave him a better price, which is oftentimes the case. And while I think we do a phenomenal job with our branding and our marketing, having the overall customer experience from how they find out about us, whether it's on Facebook or Google or a multitude of other places where we focus our time and our energy for marketing and advertising to landing on the website and the ability to navigate, get good information, learn a little if they choose to, as well as generating a price quickly without having to talk to anybody. The ease of use, speed to the lead, making it fast, making it simple, making it easy for customers to get the information that they need and they want so they can make a choice on what they're going to do. But sometimes all of that value, all of that time spent doesn't matter because someone else gave a super cheap price. But there are ways around that. And so I ask a very simple question. And as you can see, it was why? Sure, this may seem a little short, maybe a little rude, maybe a little unprofessional, but at this point, this is not my customer. They are probably not going to be my customer, so why not dig in a little, ask a couple questions, maybe get a response that I could have some sort of counter to, maybe I could add some value to them, maybe I could turn on my unbelievably charming sales voice and close the deal, or they could just respond back with something like, they charged $125. Okay, $100 less. Kind of a tough obstacle to overcome, especially if you're dealing with somebody on a budget or maybe a price shopper. Now, I don't care who you are. If somebody offered $100 less, I'm probably going to think about it. Now, there are a couple schools of thought here. Some people may say, wow, that's way too cheap. I don't think they're going to do a good job. Maybe they don't know what they're doing. And conversely, they may say, wow, that's a hell of a deal. Let's get on the schedule with these guys. But as a service provider, as a salesperson, it's your job to try regardless of which mindset they have. So as you can see, my next response, again, very simple, relatively nonchalant, short and to the point, what company? Now, at this point, had I been interacting on the opposite end of this, I was the customer, I probably would have shut it down and not responded any further, but I was actually a little bit surprised because this was the response that I got. I'll text you when I get home from work. I left the paper at home. It was a recommendation from the property management company. Okay, so now I have a little bit more information and this helps, but now I also know that the quote they got has a lot more credibility because they were referred to this company by the property management company for their townhome community. So now the Hill has even gotten steeper for me because I'm $100 higher and I wasn't referred to them by a trusted source. And I really thought that that would be the end of this conversation. I was not expecting this guy to send me the company name after he got home from work hours later. And then this next message pops up on my phone and I'm gonna blur out the company name because it doesn't really matter. But the one thing that I did notice about this company name was it was one that I'd never heard of. I've never seen a truck. I've never seen a sign, any kind of advertising or marketing, nothing. They don't pop up on Google that I'm aware of, but I do know where this particular townhome community is. And I knew the name of the community and the name of the company matched the name of the community, which got me thinking. And this is what I sent back. 
Never heard of him, but their name says it all. Neighborhood kid. Hope he has insurance. And to that, he responds, good point. I'll hire you. Not sure if we need to notify the tenants. My response was, let's give them a heads up next Tuesday, 9 a.m. And obviously, we definitely want to notify the tenants. That will give them the opportunity to prepare per our instructions, which I sent over to this guy. And this kind of communication just streamlines the process for us because when we show up, we're going to knock on the door. And if they were unaware, the owner had hired somebody to clean their unit. Uh, it can slow us down. So again, just a little added tidbit of information for you guys that I hope that you guys can use in your own business. Communication is key. Uh, and in the last text message I got from this customer, okay, thank you. And he was thanking us for charging him $100 more than he was already quoted and willing to spend and wanting to spend. But it was the series of questions. It was pointing out something as simple as the potential of this other company not having insurance. Now, I don't know if they have insurance or not. I just said that I hope that they had insurance. But it's the little things. It's this interaction that you can have, the questions as simple as they are, that can lead to you closing more sales and making more money in your business. Please take it and implement it in your own. And don't forget to check out Quote IQ if you need a way to keep track of customers send professional estimates, invoices, and get paid fast. And I told you if you stuck around to the end, I was going to tell you how you get an extra 100 entries into winning the truck and a free strategy call with Justin and myself. All you have to do is be a yearly subscriber to Quote IQ. Get that yearly subscription over at the Apple, the Google Play, or MyQuoteIQ.com to any one of our tiers. It's super easy, super fast, and it's going to make your business a lot of money. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.